Hi, my name is Lars from Trendlock. Today, in this video, I would like to show you how you can grab data from a universal robot, like this one working, connect it to a Trendlock collector, and send data to the cloud, and make a dashboard similar of this one. First of all, we have to connect the Trendlock box with the universal robot. That is done over Ethernet, connecting either directly to the box or on a on the network. So the first thing we do is in the browser of the computer we go to the Trendlock collector box interface to set up the box to start reading data from the universal interface. The Trendlock data collector is does already support the UR interface, the PLOG, so we just add the new protocol to it and select the Universal Robots protocol from the drop down menu. Now we we'll see here that we have a new protocol, so the first thing we have to do is to put in the IP address of the UR robot that we want to collect data from and we want to select from its primary interface. That's done. So now we put up what kind of data we want to log from the robots. And you see here we have a lots of different data structures to log from. So the first thing we want to have the robot mode is where the information about the program that if the program is running or not and so on. You see here all the different information from the robot mode data structure. All right. So, to test if everything works, we activate the settings and we get a success. So, we restart the data logger and we want to see if we already have access with the robots. We see here the IP address and we are already connected now to the robots interface. So, the next thing we have to do is to create a new STM state machine. We want to collect all the information from the universal robots into um, one STM and we call that STM1 with the UR1. So now we create a variable for the run signal. So I get while one and I write run here and we connect that variable with the input and the data structure from the robot. So here we're choosing the program running. So every time the program is running, this signal will go high, the run signal will go up. And so, so now we just activate it and check it again and restart the data logger. So right now we should actually go, could go into the monitor and we can now monitor the UR1 STM and see that the run status is one. Let's go to the universal interface and start the program to see if we can see the run signal go to one instead of yes. As you can see, the value goes to one, which indicates that the robot is now running. Fine, let's stop it again and see if we go back to zero and it goes back to zero. What a great success. All right. The next thing we want to lock now, we want to make sure that we can send the data, the run signal directly to the Trendlock platform. So I go in and set up the live data and connect the run signal from the universal robots and put it in the live data. Again, when we've done a new thing, we activate the settings before the new settings is putting into effect. So now we want to create a feed in the platform, Trendlock platform so that we can see that the data is sent directly to the platform. 
you go to trendlock.io website and you select the sign in button in the top menu to log in to the platform and it will open up the default dashboard now we go to feeds select the add button and put in the name of the feed that you want to create in this case the feed of the UR run signal right it's created and it should be on the last page see here it is the last feed name so now we can go to our trend lock monitor and see that the current value of the run signal is one now we go to the UR1 interface and start the signals and see if the signal goes all the way to the trend lock collector to the platform and we see it does now it's one next thing we want to do we want to make a trend view where we can show the current value of the run signal so we go in we create a trend sign as i do here and i write up here that you are one state i will now select the data feed that we just created from the drop down menu right here you are one fine that's done okay and now from the selecting of the data we will take the current value only that's it now we see that the current value is zero let's see if that works so we open up the, the trend view like this by double clicking it will open up the trend view and if we start the ur interface again I will just move it to side so we can see that it starts when I start the robot immediately uh, the, U, the trend sign goes to 1 if I stop it again it will go to 0 perfect so now we would like to customize it a little bit so it, it's a little bit more obvious if the machine if the robot is started or not say well, instead of zero and one i will just return if the value is zero i will turn it so it says that it stopped and if it's one it will be return a value of running or run as i did this i do this here just by putting in this javascript code fine okay and i also want to make it change so when the value is one or below one the background should be red and if it's above or one it should be green let's test it out fine okay now it stopped okay let's save this open up the display again and we will test it by starting the robot see it shifted immediately so this is the display is shown on the platform and this is the robot that you start down there so you see it's very very quickly to create a trend view with the state information great now i create a trend board i want to put this one up and start creating a trend board for the UO one create it and now i open up for editing it now i have a blank sheet i open up um, a trend view and in this one i will select the newly one that i just created here in the drop down menu okay now it's there it's actually done now okay fine i can open up the trend board like that now i have a trend board showing the state of the robot on the trend board let's see if it still works by running it okay it's running and the signal comes up on the trend board that the ro robot is running now i go to the trend lock collector to the settings of that one i will now choose a new io part of the ur robot so i'll click plus here and the type that i will select would be the global variable 
this is where the information of all the variables are so I'll select this here and now I will add which variable I want to pick up default value is var underscore one so I change this to the exact same name as the, it shows in the robot program so total count it's a 32 bit integer the length of one fine perfect so now I go to my ur1 stm and I create a new value to reference that field so I will call this count c and t okay I select type input and then I link it to the ur valuable like here is the total count fine index zero perfect I will activate the settings just to see if everything works okay now let's test this I go to the monitor now it's zero because we don't have any information from the robot yet this the value or the name of the value will only be sent every time the program is started from from start so we have to restart the robot just to make sure that the variable name is sent the first time and then the value is sent afterwards okay done right now you see the value here comes into the turn lock collector so it works perfectly and it updates every time it makes a new revolution great close here close here now I'd like to have the same value as well as the state value I want to put that up to trend lock platform so I can see it on my dashboard I select the UR1 and the count you see it in the list now I activate the new settings and the trend lock collector will restart with the new settings okay now I go to the platform and select the feed I do exactly the same as I did with the other one so just to make it sure I'm just copying the name here and add a new feed put that one in and change the run to count it should be it right now I created it if there is a change in the value it will be sent directly to the platform again I have to restart the, the robots every time we have reset the trend lock collector all right that now I go to the trend lock collector in the monitor see if the value is there yes it is 3175 57 and you see up here in the trend lock platform the value is also here all right now I want to create a new trend sign similar to the one that I already had uh, to the state I already created one okay what I did I went I created a trend sign I selected the UR1 the count signal like this yes okay that was the one there press done and done and I select the current value as well great like this now I go to the trend board again I want to add the newly created trend view to the trend board so right there select the that one and here is just the count value great I can now move it in place so I have everything nice and neat underneath now I have a trend port with the information of the robot if it's running and the total count also visible now I would like to load in the program where I pre-programmed 
everything so that we are now not only logging values when the machine is running but it's we are also logging every time the, mach the machine or the robot has stopped and we know exactly how long time it stopped so i prepared one i will show you here the values uh, lots of values in here and there is a little program here where we are counting the seconds that the machine has stopped and when the machine is running the also the number of seconds that the machine is running or the robot is running quite a small program okay now i activate the settings that great everything is working the trend log collector is restarting let's go to monitor and see how everything goes i have of course to restart the robot program to make sure that the count signal is sent to the trend log collector okay perfect go let's have a look at the monitor now so you see the count signals there we have a run signal it goes into the input the run is one here this and we are counting the runtime at the moment one every all the seconds that the robot has been that has been running since we created this program right now the stop time is on zero but if i start the robot here stop let's go and see what the stop time says now now you see it the run signal is zero and the stop time is now increased by the number of seconds that the machine has been or the robot has been stopped we have also the count the run and we now have put the stop time into the live signals let's create a new feed with the stop time so now we want to display the current stop time so okay i put in here the feed and the stop time like this fine oh you see now here the stop time actually is sent it already so this is the current stop time that is sent to the platform great When I start it again, you see the stop signal actually goes to zero and the start, the run signal goes to one. And now we have the count signal as well. So, perfect. I've already created the uh, stop sign where we are showing the current stop uh, the stop time so let's go in and edit so you can see it um, we are the input feed is the top time and the time oh, this the select view is the current view that's it and of course we have done a little of javascript to make sure that the seconds is displayed in hours, minutes and seconds. Great. Now we can put this trend view to our dashboard, our trend port. Go on edit. We add a new view. And we select the stop time trend view. fine oh, I see the, the value already comes in so the robot is stopped okay perfect now we try and start the robot again 
So you see, it goes immediately to run state, and the current stop time goes to zero. So that's it. That's how you can create very fast a connection between the UR robot and um, the Trendlog collector and send the data to the Trendlog platform and make a trend board that shows the current state of the robot.